All right, this is a video of me reassembling a Sennheiser SKM 5000 radio mic. It's uh, one of those old UHF mics that uh, are pretty obsolete right now. And uh, this SKM 5000 has been replaced by the SKM 5200, as well as the new digital SKM 6000. Well, so here are the internals. Um, it was a lot more complicated inside than I thought, considering that the SKM 5000 is such a slim mic. I didn't know there was so much going on inside. It was crazy. There's the, the mic body. And there's a pair of uh, Sennheiser batteries. And there's the foam windscreen. There's the battery pack. I don't know what that thing is. There's uh, the capsule. It's a condenser capsule. And inside you have a sticker listing the 16 channels and their frequencies. I just dropped this little housing in there. You know, screw it tight. Just till it's snug. And here's the printed circuit board. It was pretty impressive, uh, like the amount of effort that went into the circuitry. There's a red sliding switch for uh, the bass roll-off and the blue dial, which is for sensitivity. Now these chrome pieces are, I guess they're just kind of like structural support for the printed circuit board. They kind of help guide all the components into the mic housing. And here's the shark fin cover for the antenna. It, it really helps protect. Now I don't know what these things are. They're like little plastic rods. Now I know they go in this way, but I still don't really know what they do. So um, now there's the sticker with the 16 channels and the frequencies that they're tuned to. And now this can change. Uh, this mic is one of the older types, so if you wanted to use any channels that weren't already set to these 16 here, you'd have to have them changed out and, and usually by like a, an authorized technician or something. And see the, all of it just slides in. All of it is just guided in like on rails. There are not many screws that hold the mic together, but they're actually in really critical areas because, uh, you know, not so many of them, but they all hold a lot of the structure together. There's even a screw on the, the battery pack. And this is the capsule. I believe it's an ME5005 supercardioid condenser capsule with a small diaphragm. And these are two Sennheiser batteries, double A's. They actually came with my Sennheiser D1 microphone that I just got last year. The battery pack is, uh, I believe it's a B5000-1 battery pack. So this is the, how you install the two AA batteries into the battery pack. It's pretty simple. And then it's pretty cool because it's like hinged. The, the cover is like on a hinge. You pretty much just snap the battery, you snap the battery pack in place. Now this is what a low battery indication would look like, a blinking red light, and change it now. Uh, 
and uh, you, you probably see that there's no foam windscreen inside the grill because it like deteriorated and just crumbled into dust. I'm showing you how to change the channels. You know, you turn this little dial with a tiny flathead screwdriver. And then this is, now I'm showing you how to get under the capsule and adjust the sensitivity. So for a lower sensitivity, that's really good for high noise, high sound level applications and higher sensitivities for like a little quieter environment. Now I don't know what this th this thing is. It's like a looks like some kind of extension for the mic capsule because it's like the same connection from the transmitter to the capsule, but just like doubled. So it my best guess is it's for like let's say you're trying to make a wireless boom mic or something, and you know the shock mount would be placed on the extension so it doesn't maybe interrupt the you know, like the antenna signal. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, I just, it just came with the mic, so. And, you know, with the foam windscreen, I figured that that's probably what it could have been used. Looks like it's what it could be used for. Or, an, like, it could be an interview mic. You know, with the extension, it kind of helps, you know, hold it down to waist level. All right, so, now that was the assembly of the SKM 5000. Now I feel like interviewing someone with this. Hey, what about you? Tell me about yourself. No? Uh, what was that? I actually think this mic looks really cool with the extension though. And now this is the disassembly of the SKM 5000. But yeah, that's, that's just my guess. I saw in the old instruction manual that, that the SKM 5000 can be used as a Kind of a makeshift wireless boom mic. You know, if you're interviewing members in the audience and, uh, you know, maybe you don't have a gun mic, a shotgun mic or something that can reach them pretty far. All right, it's time to tuck it back in the bed. All the components, they're going back in their case, you know, ready for going on the road, ready for tour. All right, uh, for this video, I was talking on a Sennheiser E965 condenser mic and super cardioid on a D1 transmitter. Or what am I supposed to say? Don't forget to subscribe. Come back again. Give me a like or a dislike. All right, thank you and uh, have a good one. Cut.